What's going on everyone? Tim from SkiRexMedia.com. Once again, talking to you about the weekend Vermont. Are you coming to Vermont to visit us to go skiing or riding this weekend? Maybe you are, maybe you aren't. But if you are, we're going to give a quick overview of what's going on around the state. Yes, I just shifted my hat. Yes, dig the new lid. It's pretty sick, right? It's from Peace and Pow. There is a story behind why I'm wearing it, but we'll get into that on the actual podcast coming out this Wednesday. The next episode of the podcast coming out this Wednesday on uh, New Year's Day, as a matter of fact. Um, so, Christmas was yesterday. Merry Christmas to those you celebrate who didn't uh, hear it from me or see it from me um, early um, yesterday, you know, when I put it up. Um, is your holiday week? If you've been skiing off week with the kids off for the holiday, if you've been skiing or snowboarding here, you already know some of this stuff um, because a lot of the numbers I have come from today, but they're not going to change much throughout the weekend. If anything, they'll go up a little, maybe down a little in some places. Um, we didn't have any new snow this week, no new natural snow. Places were blowing snow, like places all over the state were blowing snow. Um, but we had nothing new in the natural snow. So that means you've been riding and are going to start riding on stuff like machine groomed, packed powder, hard packed granular, all that good stuff. That means we've been blowing snow but had no natural stuff and then we've been grooming it up. So here's what it looks like <clears throat> around the state this week, what this weekend. Um, there's some places that only have a handful of trails. I'm talking around 10 or less. Suicide 6 up near where I am on the other side of Woodstock. Uh, Queechy, which is also right up the road from here. They only have a handful. Magic Mountain in the southern part of the state only has a handful. The Middlebury Snow Bowl, Bolton Valley, they all have 10 or less. And then you have Burke up north. They're running about 12 right now. So, you know, only a handful. For, for the moment, you know, it's still the, the season's still starting and it was warm this week. So, you know, there's some places can't get going as quick as others. And these guys have a handful, but I bet you that handful is still kind of fun to ride and uh, ride and ski. So definitely if you're in those areas or fans of those mountains, check that out. Now, stepping up a little bit with a few more are Bromley, Mad River Glen, and Smuggler's Notch. They're running in the 20s for open trails. Um, a little bit more action. Um, Jay Peak's got over 30, so that's pretty good. Then you have the bigger mountains, the guys who open up at 50% or better in some cases. Um, Stowe has 48, and this is of today, mind you. So this could change throughout the weekend, but right now they're running 48. Mount Snow, 50. Stratton, 68. That's pretty freaking good, especially when you think about Stratton and Magic. Now, two different systems, two different owners, two different amounts of snow making, so, and two different mountain sizes, so 68 versus, you know, the less than 10 that Magic has. You know, even though they, you can see one, well, you can almost see one from the other, you know, if you're going to be in the Londonderry, Stratton, Wynn Hall, um, uh, what else is right there, Chester area, Pick your mountain. You can hit one or you can run down to Mount Snow. Like I said, they had about 50. Now, to move on from there, you have the really big ones. Okimo's running 78. Um, Killington's got about 79 plus another 18 or so at Pico. So Killington Pico is where you're at. If you want a lot of terrain, I mean, Killington's the friggin' biggest, biggest hill in the Northeast, man. So, of course, they're going to have the most. They have a reputation to uphold, you know. So Killington 79 with another 18 or so at Pico. So there's a lot over there and 84 at Sugarbush. And like I said, there was no new snow this week, but that's going to change. During this weekend, we're going to see all kinds of different weather. The temperatures are going to be pretty mild. Um, you know, through the weekend, it's going to be 40s dropping down into the 30s. And then the nighttime, you know, it's going to get lower, obviously, because the sun went down. But no no real freezing cold weather, I don't think. So you, you'll be good with a few layers. Always, I mean, look, weather can change. Keep an eye on it. You know, still bring your layers, but you, you, you might not need them. You probably won't need them. The temperatures are going to be mild. And the what's going to be falling out of the sky is going to be a mix of rain as the weekend begins, going from Friday into Saturday, and then some snow and ice in places, all dependent upon elevation and where you are in the state. The southern part of the state could see the rain, the upper part could see the snow and ice. So that'll be through the weekend and heading towards the holiday, the New Year's holiday. Um, some of that will be Monday and Tuesday, um, the snow. And I know in my area here in the center part of the state, oh, the center, center um, east part of the state, it's going to be a mix of rain, snow, and then some snow on Tuesday. So that's what you're going to get. So the skiing, 
if you don't mind being out in the weather, it still shouldn't be too bad. Snowmaking will continue as best they can through the night um, for those who are for those mountains who are able to do it. And you know, you might you might need your uh, poncho during a couple of those days. You might you might not. Keep an eye on it, like I said. But what if you're coming up and the ski day is kind of ruined and you need something else to do? Well, let's take a look. Cause there's a couple cool things going on. Um, there's level one uh, movie night, um, the movie Romance. And that's over at um, Stowe. Stowe's going to be showing that movie. Is that right? You know what? Let me look at that real quick. I'm, I'm going to check on that. I'll be right back. Hold on. And I'm back. How unprofessional was that? All right, so going through the weekend of stuff to do at these ski mountains other than ski. You got December 27th. That's tomorrow night. Now, you're watching this on Friday. I'm recording on Thursday night. You're going to be watching it at the earliest Friday morning. So tomorrow night, the 27th, Level 1 Movie Night, their latest from this year, Romance, is going to be at Burke, not Stowe, Burke Mountain up in the north part of the state. Then on the 27th, you have the Festivus Rail Jam at Suicide 6. That's not far from here, so I'll probably be there. So if you're checking that out and you want to say hello to the big dog from Ski Rex Media, you can do that. I'll probably be there. Also on the 28th, there's Paint Night at Bolton Valley. Um, the SMS Summit Series, Faction the Collective, that's at Stratton from the Summit uh, Stratton Mountain School. Excuse me. And uh, the Nokian Green Tire Giveaway Scavenger Hunt at Killington is also Saturday the 28th. Um, Sunday the 29th, the Family Park Series is at Okemo. Just as it says, the fa the park's open for families. So check that out if you're a bunch of a family full of park riders and you're going to Okemo. Now, just because the week we go through the weekend doesn't mean it's over. The holiday is still going. And this year, um, New Year's Eve is midweek and a lot of mountains always have something going on. If you check out Bromley this weekend, they have a ton of stuff going on. And some of it has to do with... Uh, um, New Year's Eve, but they have some other things, live music, other things like that. But other mountains throughout the state have all kinds of different things going on on New Year's Eve. The 100 Years Roaring 2020 New Year's Eve Ball at Burke. 100 years running. They call it roaring, but it's running. And it's in 20, you know, the bring in 2020 on uh, New Year's Eve. That's at Burke. There's a New Year's celebration at Smuggler's Notch. There's the New Year's Eve Kids Extravaganza, the Family Party at Clips and Reels, and the 90s New Year's Eve Party at Jay Peak. Um, a Roaring Twenties New Year's Eve celebration, a New Year's, New Year's Eve dinner party at the Grand Summit. And that's at Mount Snow, along with their New Year's Eve torchlight parade and fireworks. And that's really cool. I've seen that a few times at Mount Snow, and that's a lot of fun. So check that one out in your, if you're in the area. Um, or if you're a couple towns over, you can go to the New Year's Eve celebration at Stratton, you know, right up the road. There's also the family New Year's Eve party at Okemo, up the road from that. And then up the road from that is the New Year's Eve torchlight parade at Killington, which I assume is very similar to the one at Mount Snow. Also very cool. Um, and I, I love Killington, maybe not as much as Mount Snow, but I do enjoy Killington. I've been there many times. Um, so there you go. That's the weekend heading into New Year's Eve. Um, check out what you want. You know, if any of those mountains are, uh, you're going to be at any of those mountains or if that puts you in the interest or put, gives you interest to go see any of those mountains or go ski any of those mountains or hang out and check it out on New Year's. Um, go ahead and do that. Um, if you need more information on any of those things, go ahead to their social medias, um, their um, websites, whatever you need to do to check that stuff out. Or if you think you want me to tell you about it, give me a shout out, ask me a question. I'll see what kind of answers I can find out for you. So enjoy your weekend here if you're coming to Vermont or if you're going to somewhere else in New England, if you're on our side of the country or if you're in Colorado, California, Wyoming, New Mexico, Arizona, um, the Pacific Northwest, ski where you are, snow where, where, snowboard where you are. Um, I am Tim from SkiRexMedia.com. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, especially this one if you think it gives out any decent information that anyone you know is going to Vermont might need, all right? So we'll check you out later on um, during the week. Um, it is New Year's, and there will be a, um, since New Year's Day is podcast day, there will be a new episode on uh, New, Year's e uh, new Year's Day that morning, and that will also include the story of this brandy new fancy hat, all right? Um, enjoy Vermont. Enjoy skiing wherever you are. Enjoy your weekend enjoy your holiday um it is kwanzaa now as well so enjoy that and celebrate that if you do um tim from skirexmedia.com once again and i will see you out there during the new year man later